Hi, I'm Peyton, and welcome or welcome back to Peyton Through the Pages. Today, I'm going to be telling you all about my reading goals for 2023. I have 10 goals for this year, um, and I'm doing pretty well with them, if I do say so myself. Um, so let's get on into the video. So my first goal is to read 45 books this year. Um, I currently have read 14, I believe. Um, I set my goal as 45 because I used to set my goal at 50, and I would always get somewhere between like the 35 and 40 range. And so I was like, well, if that's what I'm getting to every year, I should probably like lower it. So I lowered it to 45 from 50. Um, and I've been getting closer to my goal. So the next goal I'm not going to talk about in a lot of detail because I am planning on making a separate video about that and that is to prioritize reading books off of my physical TBR. My physical TBR is very long and so I will get into that more at a later date but I am trying to only read books that I have already bought and not buy any more books and not get any more books like from the library that I don't own so that is one of my big goals for this year. Goal number three is to have no current reads by the end of 2023, so on December 31st. Have no reads that I'm reading, have finished all of the books that I've been reading this year. Every year it seems like I end the year with like one or two carryovers, and like carryovers are like fine for like a month, like month to month. But I feel like when it's like the year that like messes with my like year end stats and everything, that just annoys me. Um, so I'm aiming to have no current reads by the end of this year. Hopefully that'll work out for me. We'll see. Goal number five is to write at least six book reviews this year. Um, I normally don't review books. I don't know why because I feel like I can write them it's just that i like don't so whether it be in my reading journal or on goodreads or here i guess in video format now i am hoping to review at least six books um and get in the habit of kind of reviewing and writing all my thoughts down um rather than just live texting all of my friends about what i'm reading um because that's what i'm doing right now and it's it, it all gets lost so i'm kind of hoping to get in the habit of like having like a set spot where they all go. Goal number six is to utilize the Beat the Backlist challenge by Austin Decker slash Novel Night. I found this in like mid-2022 I believe and I was like why would I use it now? It's halfway through the year. Um, so I picked it up for this year. I'm not aiming to complete the challenge um, but I'm aiming to use it as like an aid to force myself to read books off of my physical TBR because um, a lot of them like fit the prompts so I was like okay this is a good way to get rid of my backlist um, in my physical TBR which I guess is the whole point um, but yeah so I'm not aiming to complete it I'm just aiming to like use it to help me complete another goal goal number seven is to be more intentional with my star ratings I only started rating books in like mid 2020 um, and so I definitely want to try and be more thoughtful with what I'm rating things. Um, I feel like for a lot of the past few years, I've been using the adrenaline with like right after I finish a book, like immediately after like going and reading it. And I wasn't really sitting with what I was reading. Um, so I really want to try to change that this year and be more thoughtful and intentional with what I'm rating books. Um, so it's not just a bunch of four and five stars, like it has been for a while. Um, so yeah. Number eight is to finish volume one of Anna Karenina by July 2nd. That's like halfway through the year. I went through and I've tabbed all the parts and I've done all the math. And so when this video is up, I will have already restarted Anna Karenina. So I will be working towards finishing half of this book um, for the first half this year. And I am really excited about it. Goal number nine is to read at least one American Girl series this year. I do collect American Girl dolls. I also collect all of the books that go along with them. Um, so I'm aiming to get through at least one of those series this year, probably two or three since they're so short, but my one goal was like get through one. So we'll see if that happens. I think it will. I have like a lot of the like bound full volumes where it's like the whole series in one book. So if I sit down with that, I think I'm okay. Um, but I will, I'll keep you posted on that. Goal number 10 is to try and keep up with my reading journal for the whole year. Um, I've been journaling since like 2018 
and I've never successfully journaled throughout and like consistently throughout an entire year. Um, so I'm aiming to do that this year. I'm doing pretty well. I'm not going to like do a flip through of any sort now or show you any spreads right now because I'm planning on doing that later in the year, but I am keeping up with it. Um, I do it like once a week. So yeah, that is my reading journal and also my final reading goal or reading related goal for 2023. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a like or a comment or subscribe if you feel compelled to. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!